going back to the earlier days of your career, in particular auditioning, because nothing fascinates me more than someone who puts themselves through that and is able to just stay focused. And even when you're get, getting hit with disappointment, just still forging forward. So for the audition process earlier on, can you give me one high moment and then also one low moment and then maybe how you overcame it? Yeah. Um, well, a high moment, I think, well, this was one of them, um, but that's kind of a boring answer, but I'll give you another one. Uh, I, my first American project, a film called The Vow, um, that my friend Michael Susie directed with Rachel McAdams and Channing Tatum. I was in Australia. I had just been on a Australian TV show there and I just wrapped, I just finished that. And um, that came through and the, I put myself on tape from Australia and I got the role off tape and I was beside myself. I couldn't believe it. Um, I hadn't worked in America before. I didn't know. I mean, talk about imposter syndrome. I was like, what am I doing? Next thing I was just on a plane over here and shooting that movie. So that for me was like definitely one of the most pivotal moments. I mean, it, well, you know, that's how I ended up here essentially. And now I live in LA. So um, I have a lot to, of uh, gratitude for that job. Um, and then low points. Look, I've had a bunch. <laughs> It's a brutal industry, as everyone in this business knows. You know, there's roles that I've missed out on there. Um, I know I was in the mix for, oh, um, Invisible Man. My, but my beautiful friend Harriet Dyer got that. That was for, uh, for the sister role. And I was really disappointed about that. But my friend Harriet got it. And she's so amazing and just such a beautiful person. So I was also very happy for her to get that one. I know that was a bummer. And then, you know, funnily enough, I got this, I think, weeks later. So I don't think I could have done this had I done that, which is very interesting too.